Hi guys, my name is Melissa. You can call me Mel. I am very excited and a little scared for today's video because in my last video, I did mention a particular budget and uh, I'll just be honest, I don't, I don't know what happened. I walked into Sephora the same time that the earthquake here in Jersey happened and so maybe like some way, somehow it rattled my brain and now I ended up with like all this stuff behind me so we're gonna go through all of it <laughs> but just a quick disclaimer you know although I didn't stick to my budget I definitely want to let you know that I did not need all this stuff I did not need to spend as much as I did and um, I've said it before in other videos uh, financial health <laughs> your financial well-being is very important and between TikTok and FOMO and constant sales and all that stuff, it could really just um, put us into a financial hole very quickly. So, it, you know, if you see someone like myself spending or anyone else, just know that um, you do not have to do the same. <laughs> um, never let any of these videos make you feel bad. Please watch them for entertainment purposes purposes. I didn't buy these for entertainment purposes. I'm going to use all of these products, but I just hope that you are watching and just able to, you know, grab a snack, hang out with me for, you know, the next 20, 30 minutes while we go through everything and just have a little break from life. So <laughs> this may actually be my biggest Sephora haul ever. Um, not intentionally by any means, but just kind of worked out that way. You know, just being completely transparent, doing it twice a year is one thing, but I definitely can't shop like this every like two, three weeks. So I had to have four things shipped to me because three out of four weren't in my store and then one of the products I felt like maybe it would get sold out especially with the option to do a pickup first up I did I told you I was gonna get it I got the Kayali uh, Eden sparkling lychee how gorgeous why does it look like it was used <laughs> so gorgeous the uh, bottle is so pretty oh my gosh I'm like spraying stuff in my coffee <laughs> I get it now. I got this perfume because of Jessie Wu. If I can find her video where she's talking about it and putting it on, I'll make sure to put like the timestamp in her video too. Like she drenched herself in this. She really recommended this perfume. It has keynotes of black currants, sparkling lychee, rose damascena, damascena, uh, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. This smells like brunch liquor <laughs> in the best way i swear it smells like mimosa bellini like that and maybe it's the lychee in it and but the, the sparkling lychee i don't know but what i do know is i don't have a problem with smelling like brunch it smells like sweet brunch that's so good like i get it i get it now but so that's a winner <laughs> so this next one i noticed that they don't sell it in store this is brown girl jane and i picked up the fragrance casablanca okay it's a lot of packaging for a little open it it's still in another pack so this particular fragrance has and of course i got my notes it is in the warm and spicy family the scent is warm woods and the keynotes are marshmallow vanilla and sandalwood so I'm a little upset and I'm going to try really hard not to pick it up, but they have another scent called Carnival and the main note is the Julie Mango, which is uh, a fruit from Trinidad and it's an ode to Trinidad and Carnival and whatnot and I just feel like had I noticed I would have picked it up, but again, Mother's Day is coming up, my anniversary is coming up. Let somebody else buy it for me but <laughs> i did see the notes in this one and i thought oh that's like right up my alley so let's see here so i can smell the marshmallow the vanilla and it, yeah there's something spicy about it the sandalwood i totally totally see that if they had carnival in store for me to try maybe i would do an exchange but this is really good this smells like 
sexy night out, I would recommend this one. I'm going to keep that. I like this. So again, I think the earthquake like completely rattled my brain and I forgot about my <sighs> online order and I saw the display and was like, I need one because I love her and I want to support her. But Jackie Ina's Forever Mood, they had all four of them, all four of them in stock. And as you can tell, I decided to go with hard to get. So I smelled all four of them. Like I said, this was my favorite one by far. This is me during the day. I should have probably gotten a travel size, not because for no other reason, but I want to wear this all day, every day. And I don't want to put this in my purse. This is me. Oh my gosh. Like I can't even deal. Uh, so slow down lady. Oh, so good. It is Part of the florals family which is really surprising for me because i'm not a big fan of the floor i'm definitely warm and spicy uh scent type fruity florals the keynotes are citron zest sheer jasmine and whipped vanilla Let's, i'm just gonna put this on i don't even care on to skincare i had to have these two shipped to me as well because this particular product this is the elemis cleansing balm it's not sold in my store. Wait a minute. Please, if you have Elemis, if you've purchased from them, I need you guys to let me know ASAP if it comes with the protect. That just seems really unsanitary to me. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out but please let me know I think Ulta sells it maybe I'll go to go to Ulta but I will return this I just don't like the idea that this doesn't have a seal on it <gasps> and it's dripping did you see that like it's kind of wet on the inside it needs to I don't know that's disappointing but yes I got my this is one of my favorite makeup removing bombs so I do love it but I don't know we'll we'll have to figure this out I am going to try out the topicals brightening and clearing eye mask um I do have dark circles I am very well aware that um eye masks eye creams and what have you are only going to do but so much if anything at all but I plan on taking better care of myself <laughs> and having a better routine so there are days where I have a lot of trouble sleeping and I wake up the next morning and under my eyes just look absolutely insane so I do want to try it out I've heard a lot of good things about it and I figured why not if you do you see this absolutely ridiculous this is all this is a makeup this is all skincare body care and I think hair care I'm not even sure if I got hair care or not but whatever let's just dive into it first up I told you I was going to get the big daddy uh the biggie biggie beige of floor cream okay I love this scent so much you see what I'm saying about the elements like it doesn't even have one of these things on it I don't like that but obviously filled to the top what we like to see and it also comes with the cute little surfboard so you can scoop it out. And just for reference, I do have the Bum Bum Cream. I, it has taken me forever to go through it because I just, it's not my favorite, you know? Um, especially because it's not as moisturizing as the Beige Fleur. And then this too was taking me some time to get through, which is really surprising because it's very hydrating and my skin has been not the best this winter but this is the delicia cream as you can see here but my problem is when i scoop out the cream when i tell you it stays under my nails like no other cream does it stays between like my fingers and i swear i'm putting it on my body i'm like make, you know doing all the things that you're supposed to do and I'll actually post the video here where I'm wearing a black shirt and I notice that it's dirty but it's dirty because like it, I still had 
some cream under my nails so that was pretty annoying <laughs> and to go along with the beige floor i got another of the 68 spray i love it a lot i would have already finished my original 68 spray but i knew i wanted to hold off a little bit until uh, the sale was coming back also did you see that they have new packaging now look at this this has like all of the notes on the front right but now the new packaging has like just 68 actually does it have it anywhere else no it doesn't have the notes anywhere else nope so this is what it looks like now i don't know if you were to ask me i think i like the busyness of this i don't know you know because it's like a really cute brand if i you know had to pick i prefer this one but whatever as long as this actually does it smell the same this smell right yeah it smells the same okay good i told you guys that i was going to get the uh 59 spray so i did again the new packaging that's where it just says 59 but i mean okay i did smell this in store because i'm like if i don't like it i'm not gonna pick it up but emma here on youtube i will post her not post her video but oh whatever <laughs> she mentioned that she really loves the spray and i happened to tell her too i'm like you know i'm telling you this as if i'm like we're friends we're not friends like i just i commented on her video that a lot of people love the spray more than the cream. I would use this before bed. This smells really nice. Do you see this? Like, What is happening? We still have so much more to go. And the last product that I told you guys that I was going to get that I did get is the Vegamore. Kit. this is the hair serum and the gummies i'm not the biggest fan of like gummies and whatnot for hair and skin but for the price of this kit i basically got the gummies for free i think i'll put it on the screen but let's just say this was 70 dollars. the whole kit was like 79 dollars, something like that so and this alone is definitely 30 for sure so it only cost me 10 dollars more and then 20 percent off so I have not used it yet. I have not used anything. <laughs> I really wanted to wait until I unboxed everything with you guys. The lady there at this particular brand <gasps> totally got me, but like in a good way. Um, she was beautiful, like this beautiful, like older woman who just I feel <laughs> listened to me and wasn't very pushy and I respond well to people who are not pushy <laughs> and so I went over there for one thing and I ended up with one two three four five products from this brand so I needed a cleanser and I ended up getting the Vino Perfect cleanser from Caudalie and it's supposed to instantly brighten within 30 seconds what made me get this is she's like have you tried this one as yet i'm like no i did <laughs> wash my hand with it on one side left it on for 30 seconds washed it off and when i put my hand side by side there was a very very visible difference and i've talked about it many times but hyperpigmentation all that stuff <sighs> If it's gonna make me brighter let's do it so this is what I originally went over to Caudalie for I did want to try the EDM uh, toner but they didn't have it in that section even though I saw that it was still available for pickup but whatever so I moseyed on over to Caudalie made friends with the woman and I'm like okay well this is what you know I wanted to get for a toner and this is the uh, concentrated brightening glycolic essence I really love this one I was able to use it in the set that I got during the last Sephora sale and I love this bottle too <laughs> so thankfully it's not only a nice product but I don't mind having it you know on my dresser but this works really really well 
if you are looking to brighten up your hyperpigmentation and whatnot and this is not drying so this will be my daytime toner and I don't mind using it under makeup too I if you if you are super oily then I would recommend this Caudalie toner um I just I think it's a good middle ground between I think this is a good middle ground between the uh original Caudalie toner that I've used and like the Ula Hendrickson dark spot toner this is this is a great middle ground I haven't had anything to eat I've just been drinking coffee all day and I feel like a caffeinated chipmunk so this is going to be really fun editing this video today let me tell you I also needed a facial mist and I picked up the grape water from Caudalie as well it's just grape water so um I don't think there's anything particularly special I've had this many times before but I figured why not actually when I did the price per ounce on this even compared to the La Roche Rosé Rosé uh spray this came out cheaper so I was very pleasantly surprised about that which put a pin in that I also needed I cannot believe I this is how like dry I was I went through two and a half moisturizers in the course of like six months um so I needed a new daytime under makeup moisturizer and I went with the moisturizing sorbet cream by Caudalie. I've seen this one around a lot in the past. I don't see a lot of people using it still, but when I tried it in store, I found that it was very moisturizing and it was thin enough for me to use under makeup. It smells nice. It smells like the other Caudalie moisturizer so like I said it's thin enough for my oily skin to use in the summer but it's moisturizing enough that I'm not going to feel dry either so. and lastly this was on my loves list I wasn't gonna get it because I'm like do I really need it but then I was just having so much fun with the lady I was like you know what let me get that too and this is the Caudalie uh, hand and nail repairing cream I have a little baby so I am constantly washing my hands my nails are always my cuticles are always so dry and so this is gonna go in my bag again price per ounce it was actually pretty reasonable like the Selena Gomez hand cream I remember doing the math on that and it was very expensive um, there were some other hand creams too that I was like, whoa, I'm actually surprised that it's as much as it is. And then I started looking at more of Caudalie's um, products, especially the ones that I got uh, during the sale. And their price point is actually really good. Um, if you did want to try their products, either way, very much worth it, especially at the price. <laughs> oh, and she did give me a sample of their uh, rich cream and she said that this was really good for dry skin but I know that although I'm dry right now my skin's gonna turn pretty soon to oily combo this smells really good it was also $82 so I was like ma'am I'd rather for $82 get like two or three products than to get this one cream that I know is probably gonna be too thick for me to wear in the summer so yeah all right so let's move on to makeup I don't have as much as skincare but I still have quite a bit everything fit in this bag so I did my order online I did my pickup which was only like a few items which was actually only one two three four five five items for my pickup nothing crazy and then of course you know I'm gonna walk around and pick up some things this is how much I picked up this is absolutely insane and the girl who rung me up said this is the most that she's ever seen anyone save um, because I just in this order alone i saved 140 dollars i'm gonna go through things first that i told you i was going to get let's start with face makeup i did get the ami cole uh skin enhancing tint i got the shade deep two don't ask me why i didn't swatch this in store but here we are that looks really nice especially for the summer and it looks very neutral as well another skin
skin tints that I got was the Super Goop Protect Tint. And I initially got the shade 42C. And speaking of swatching, something made me go over to the display and swatch it. I don't know why. And it was too light for me. And that was part of my pickup. So I ended up having to leave everything that I had uh, picked up in store, leave it at the register, go to the front of the store to get my pickup because I ended up exchanging it for this is 46N. So if you are Macau in uh, NARS, if you are NC47, NC50 in MAC, then I highly recommend that you swatch these and make sure you're picking up the right color. So, oh wow, that looks, okay. That looks very similar. <laughs> wow, okay. Right? Am I going crazy? Because sometimes I look at things. Yeah, that looks very, very, very similar to the Ami Cole. So we have the Super Goop 46N and we have the Ami Cole Deep 2. That means that we are going to have to do a video side by side with each of these skin tints. So that is hilarious that they are Right? I'm not going crazy. These are pretty much the same color. A little bit, to, like, I would say maybe the Ami Cole has a little bit more gold into it. But, yeah. That's, that's amazing. And I said I wasn't going to get a foundation. But something was just like, you need this, try this, you need this, try this. And I ended up picking up, of all things, so random. It's not a new product by any means. The Hourglass. No. <gasps> don't. I don't want it to fall. I ended up picking up the Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade 15.5. And when she tried it, oh my God. This is crazy because I just swatched this on my hand and there she is. Do you see that? Hourglass right there. That's just so funny that I'm finding three foundations or three complexion products that look very similar. But she actually swatched it from here down and it looked gorgeous. And this will go in like my mommy bag. I'm hoping it works for me. I didn't, this is the problem with picking up things that aren't on my list because I didn't even do the proper research to make sure that this is okay for like oily skin and whatnot, but we'll test it out and we'll see together. I didn't pick these up during the sale, but I did get them during the hourglass 20% off. And that is the two double ended brushes. They're dirty because I did use them today, but first up is the powder brush. This is the Big Mama here, your setting powder for under the eye, and then your setting powder for your face. And then we also have here the ambient lighting brush. So you have the rounded brush for bronzer and then the tapered brush for blush. This wasn't such an impulsive <laughs> um, purchase. Uh, Fortune uh, here on YouTube, who I have just grown to love here. Um, she has amazing, very open, honest, raw videos. Um, please go check her out. But aside from that, when she's talking about makeup, <laughs> she recommends these two brushes. So they have always sat in the back of my mind and spoiler alert they do not disappoint first of all this particular ambient brush for bronzer is amazing and this powder brush for under the eye and uh, face powder amazing they really are worth the money i'm so sorry to say um but get them at 20 percent off because they are they are pricey so i think hourglass started their sale like a month ago so i have had a chance to play with them quite a bit and i, I do love both brushes because they would have been going back <laughs> 
can finally get rid of the boxes. <laughs> Let's just go with Dior. First up is the Forever Glow Star Filter. This is in the shade 5N. How gorgeous is that? And so I'm hoping to use that under the Hourglass Foundation. And not gonna lie, there's a part of me that wants to get... Oh, this is really orange on me. Ooh. But that might be the glow. And to be fair, that was a huge pump. So... Let me know what you think. As always, honest opinions. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. I just think that's a whole lot of product in one small area. That's why it looks like that. Oh God, Chenmu just posted something. What is this? Oh, more blushes from Dior. Look at this as I'm like recording. <laughs> that, that lilac is pretty. As uh, Nalini says here on YouTube, I'm standing on business. I swear to you, after this, like I am not purchasing makeup for a very long time. So we have the Forever Glow Maximizer by Dior. Super pretty. I was trying to decide between uh, peachy and bronze. And I do think that bronze would be good for the summer and the winter that's it right over here see it there right here i want to get better at doing my eyebrows even my eyelashes so i figured why not have a lash primer <laughs> and apparently this is like one of the best on here so and speaking of mascaras i told you i was going to get them i did they i have the ysl and the Givenchy mascara. The YSL is blue because I decided to go with waterproof this time around and then the Givenchy. So we have the Givenchy mascara on top and then the YSL mascara on the bottom. And then we're getting down to the last few products. Thank God. We have one, two, three, four, five new blushes for the summer. And then we also have two highlighters for the summer as well and based on the packaging i know that you know what these products are i whew, don't even know where to start i'm gonna start with the rare beauty products because i did not get them during the sale like a dummy um the intention was to buy them right away, have a video, swatches, all that stuff up for you. And then life happened. My son got sick, didn't film. So we're going to do that now. <laughs> Let's start with the powder blushes. And I decided to get Love and Truth. They are actually the darkest shades. And I figure it's better for me to work backwards. Let me get the darkest ones and see how it goes but i'm showing you these now because if you can get them at some sort of a discount you might as well really so i haven't touched them i haven't even opened these at all and i think they came out like may 22nd but very beautiful packaging small very sleek they're like little macaroons i don't want to swatch them <laughs> there is love how pretty i want to make sure and swatch love <gasps> how pretty so love is a terracotta shade this is freaking gorgeous this is truth which is a mauve maroon and oh my gosh that's beautiful put that over here on brown skin like are you kidding so good so so good i have had reflect uh in the past the liquid highlighter here's reflect beautiful liquid highlighter that is now a beautiful pressed highlighter and that's considered a deep bronze also have here reveal which is a warm copper and i love a good copper i'm not a fan of gold highlighters but I will rock with a copper any day of the week. And there's 
Reveal. Sorry, did I even tell you the name? Reveal. Right there. So here's all four. We have Love, we have Truth, we have Reflect, and we have Reveal. Just quickly, because I'm like putting things back here and we're getting towards the edge. This doesn't feel like very hard packaging. It feels very soft and I, I don't want to use the C word, but like cheap plastic. Um, so that would worry me a little bit, you know, if it were to fall, but just something to keep in mind when you purchase yours. <laughs> I told you I was going to get it and I did the Prism Libre blush in number five, Pepline Violine. I'm assuming and you know sometimes you're paying for packaging but if packaging is done right then why not <laughs> in case I did horrible at the name and as you can see it's more of it's a plum and rosewood hue color keep in mind this is a heavy swatch so it comes up but really I don't really have pinks or reds like this in my collection so Super pretty just comparing it to you see like this definitely has more intensity and these are more glowy final two cheek products finally got my hands on the Patrick Ta blushes and I decided to get she's LA and she's different one of my girlies on here recommended she's so LA and I was like, in my mind, I'm like, you sure? This is kind of, this is kind of light. But when I swatched it in store, I'm like, oh, I get it. I totally get it now. She's So LA is a bronze nude, which is going to be so perfect for those like very light makeup days. We have here the powder and the cream. Now the cream does, doesn't look as pigmented as the powder, but that's okay because the way you're supposed to use it is you're supposed to put the powder on on first and then set with the cream so i feel like that's going to look really really pretty once i do <laughs> try that out and then she's so different is a deep plum and it's giving me the givenchy vibes here okay she's different and again the powder and then the cream and seeing the formulas and the opacity opacity op yeah opacity <laughs> on them I get why he says to put them on the way that he does so the last product I have is the YSL candy glaze balm you know that number 15 is such a beautiful color it's what I have on today or had on today but after speaking for an hour I'm sure I've talked it all off I went ahead and picked up 14 and this packaging this is what I'm saying sometimes you just be paying for packaging and when the product is good it's even better <laughs> and this is more of a pinky color and so I'm really interested to try this with like cork maybe even chestnut it's described as a sheer nude on that note i hope you enjoyed this video is there anything here that you've used that you've loved also what have you picked up i think i'm done shopping possibly there's like five or six more days left i think i don't shop like this often <laughs> i really only shop this much during the sephora sale which is also ironically how i'm able to maintain my rouge uh tier if you found me <laughs> because of the title or you're watching this video and you see how much i purchased and you love those kind of like huge hauls i am not your girl for that <laughs> um there are others who shop way more than me much more often but you'll probably just see little blips here and there i will catch you in my next video i hope you are having an amazing day night whenever you are watching this and you are always taking care of yourself and until next time i will see you soon bye